slash 4x4 four four ultimate the Mark Jenkins edition the red one by Traxxas now I know there's a lot of RC adventurists out there right now going medic finally got a Traxxas why haven't you had one until now and then there's the other people that are out there going ah oh, you got Traxxas that's okay settle down both parties this is actually something I've been looking forward to for a very long time. And yes, this is my very first Traxxas that I've owned, at least. I've featured other Traxxases, like the drag car and a couple of other ones. Uh, but I can tell you that in my arsenal of RC, I like the ring of that, the arsenal of RC, in my uh, whole squad I have uh, of my rigs, I have monster trucks, I have trail trucks, I have rock crawlers, I've got all that kind of stuff, but really I don't have a short course truck. Now, I've been interested in the Slash uh, ever since Skate Park Pain Number 1, where my buddy Ron actually took a very small jump uh, at the skate park and must have launched it about mm, 30 feet into the air, and it landed, it was fine. Uh, so I had my eye on it since then because the suspension setup and the durability, it seems, of the Traxxas uh, Slash is pretty good. Yes, you can bend the shafts on the springs or uh, on the shocks or whatever. Yeah, you can bust out A-arms, but just like any RC, if you really abuse it, it's gonna break anyway. So the last short course truck I had was the Exceed Mad Bash. Uh, for those who've been following the show for a long time, you'll remember the Mad Bash. I threw in, uh, uh, I took out all the stock electrics. Uh, it was from Exceed. So I took all that stuff out and I put in a Tekken RX-8 and a T8 motor and it was bloody fast. But I mad bashed it right into the ground, like, I, like I've said before. So it, it was really good and I haven't had a short course truck since then or a really good jumper. Like I do have the Savage Flux HP, uh, which is a monster truck, great truck all around, uh, but really too heavy for the kind of things I wanna do with the Slash. So finally, here I am, I've got the Slash. I went down to pmhobbycraft.ca, uh, uh, it's a Canadian hobby shop, it's huge. And I picked up uh, this model that they had. I've been researching it. I, I could have gone with all the, you know, other, the Emacs and all that other stuff, but, but really it was the short course that I was after. I also checked out the team associated uh, SC uh, version, uh, the SC10 I think it is, the 4x4 version if I'm wrong, sorry, because I only glanced at it, and uh, had a look at the upgrade kit and all that, and it turns out that the team associated one actually seems to handle really, really well, especially in the curves, the body roll on it's really good. But I'm not really racing, right? I'm not a, I'm not a racer yet. Uh, I can say that when I'm going out and I want to hit a jump, I want to make sure that it's it's fairly durable, so I went with this model instead. So, I've been doing a lot of this. I think we should be doing a lot of taking this out. So I'm gonna do this all in one continuous shot, you guys. I actually haven't opened the box. I took the cellophane off so that the bright studio lights, that's why I look like a ghost today. Uh, that, and it's uh, only about 8.30 in the morning while I'm filming. Uh, so, here, uh, here it is. Uh, I'm also interested in the new TQ uh, radio, right? Because I am one of the people that are part of the Apple community. Boo! Yay! I can hear both sides, I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> I love my iPhone. So I wanna try it out in this. Uh, other producers have had a look at it and you know, really they made it look pretty cool. So if it came with the Ultimate Edition, I was like, I'm in, why not? The other things this comes with, uh, Vin <laughs> Valenion, Vilenion, v Valenion. Uh, brushless power system, waterproof. I like waterproof because as everybody who knows that watches my show, I'm always in the water. The mud, the water, whatever. Here, have a look at this with me. Uh, aluminum steering blocks and C-hubs, right? So an automatic uh, upgrade right there to where it counts at least. Uh, big bore aluminum shocks. It comes with a seven cell uh, battery and a charger. It looks like I'll be swapping that out for a lipo and it does take lipo on the side You guys can check it out. Uh, where is it on the side on this side? Yeah, okay. Here we go over here uh, for the power system, it shows you how fast things go. 60 miles per hour on a 3S LiPo, you know, 11.1 .1 volts. Uh, says it can take a 5,000 plus ma, right? So milli milli milliamp hours. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, get inside here and have a peek. Mark Jenkins edition. Launched his motorsports career by winning the first race he entered at the Texas Red. Blah 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 blah. Let me show. Let me see the truck. 
congratulations, Mark. I didn't mean to take away from your, your awesomeness and getting your own rig. <laughs> but I'm excited. Looks like it has sway bars in here too. Does it? Oh yeah, aluminum. There's a whole bunch of, uh, check this out. Uh, center diff, aluminum C hubs in the steering blocks, the aluminum steer, uh, aluminum rear hub carriers, uh, aluminum wheel nuts, all the shocks, the front and rear, rear sway bars. So that's cool. Included ultimate edition accessories. Hey, radio. Here we go. Right on the end was the radio. Not bad. It feels like it's not like a $10 radio at least. Contour is pretty nice to my hand, like the ergonomics of it. Uh, thumb here. Looks like it has a, uh, well, a couple of dials, steering and multifunction. All right, 50-50 and 70-30 split. Oh yeah, for throttle control. Uh, menu set, all that different stuff. I'll get into this off camera, but I think it's cool that it has this little iPod dock. Check this out, where you plug it in. See? iPod fits in here. I'll have a look at that, probably off camera. You know, we'll do it for the next video. Just so you guys don't have to wait too much. Off to the side, ah, oh, very nice. Upside down, check this out. All wrapped up. Now guys, if you don't like the unboxing video, that's totally cool. I'm sure there's like a million unboxing videos of this. I didn't really do a lot of searching because it was just something I want to have fun with. And if you guys are here to watch it with me, that's even greater. Lots of stuff in here. You know we always get right to the car anyway, hey? Especially when you're at home on the table, you want to get right into it. Now one thing I noticed right away is the Mad Bash was bigger. Eight scale. I think it was eight scale. It was much larger than this though. Okay, so looks like everything is wrapped separately. So I'll undo the body posts. There we go. Take off the cool body. Nice paint job. Dun -da -da. I'm actually really excited. It's not often I get a, a new product like this that I choose. And uh, it's so pretty inside. Check that out. If you guys can see, we'll just start up here. There's the aluminum front blocks. Okay, let's turn the servo. There we go. Big bore shocks, sway bar installed right here. That's what wraps around the, the back uh, shock tower here. So there's a Millennium system right in there. All done, ready to go. And of course, the rear aluminum hubs are back there as well. Pretty cool, let's see, it weighs not a lot, like maybe four pounds, maybe a little bit bigger. It's not like I'm a, I'm a human scale, but it's super light. Right on, so Traxxas connectors, looks like I'm gonna have to modify this battery or get some different Traxxas connectors for my LiPos, right? Cause I always run uh, alt ultra plugs or Dean's plugs, they're referred to as. Uh, I don't even have, yeah, these ones. Remember, oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, I caught it. Okay, <laughs> okay, check it out. These are those Dean's plugs, if you guys uh, know what I'm talking about. These are Traxxas plugs, much, much different, right? There is a debate always on which plugs are better. I think they're, they both work pretty darn good, hey? Depends on the amount of power you're running through them, right? You wanna make sure that you're, uh, if you're running lots of power through, they do get kinda hot, so you don't wanna melt them. Uh, ooh, nice, look at that. Nice suspension. One continuous shot, people. Uh, <laughs> okay, so even though this body is nice and pretty, right? I like bodies like this. Well, uh, well painted. Good job, Traxxas. On the back, on the front, looking pretty, pretty awesome. Nice and low down to the ground. I'm sure I will be uh, fiddling with the suspension and stuff as I figure the vehicle out, right? Yay, a real short course truck finally in the studio. Uh, it's been a while and I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do a Traxxas video for you. And that was the other reason, right? So, hey, check this out. I did get a different body. What? I thought he said he liked the body. I do. This is a J Concepts uh, X-Flow body. This is for the Traxxas Slash. 
four by four, part number 0205. I got this down at uh, PM Hobby as well. But because I drive a Ford, here goes another. Uh, <laughs> why does he drive Ford? Because I like the look of it. Look at this. This is a, uh, a Raptor body, right? So it has these fins in the front. Well, I'm gonna be able to cut these fins out. Why would he do that? I would do that because when it's on here and when it's jumping through the air, this acts like a giant parachute. Catches a lot of air when it's in, when in the vehicle's actually jumping, right? It holds a lot. Well, with these fins, you can actually cut that out so it doesn't have that floating effect. So I'm looking forward to that, a nice custom job. And actually one of the uh, guys that was at Skate Park Pain number four, uh, he was driving a white and black Raptor. It was very impressive. I did enjoy it a lot actually. And the last thing I have for you today uh, is I also went out and got a J Concepts uh, over tray that fits on the Slash 4x4 2058. This uh, at PM I see here, uh, 25 bucks. The other one I think was 35, somewhere in there. So this over tray, even though things are waterproof, I understand, but if I ever want to switch stuff out, make it uh, just as much mud proof and splash proof as possible, this is a tray that will actually go over all the electronics. And it has fins in here too that I can cut, right? So airflow can get through. You want to keep everything nice and cool. So there you go. Speaking of cool, all done for now. I've got some uh, fiddling around to do, uh, learning. I always learn my radio before I even turn on a rig like this because you got to know how to control it, even though it's just another 4x4 rig. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like click, please. If you're not subscribed, you might as well check it out because we've got a whole library of fun. And uh, of course, we might as well roll the outro for RC Sparks. See you guys next time and thanks for watching.